Hey guys, I'm here standing in our brand new greenhouse that my husband built. I'm gonna show you how we anchored it and just the basic design that we used. Um, the building plans that I got off of YouTube, I will link that down below and I'm just gonna give you a big basic rundown on the greenhouse itself. I don't really have a whole lot planted out yet. I have some trays that are started but I don't have a whole lot in here at the moment and I will come back to that at a later date when I have some more things growing kind of give you an idea of what we're starting, what's ready to plant out and all that. So for now, I'm just gonna give you a look at the greenhouse itself and how we made it. Okay, so I guess I shouldn't say how we made it because I didn't build this, my husband built it and I barely helped, but I'm gonna show you how he made it. So the building plans that we used were from a YouTube video that we found called How to Build a Simple Sturdy Greenhouse from 2x4s by the channel Modern Builds. It was episode 58. And I have that, I will link that in the description of this video down below. And it's also on my playlist. If you go to my channel, I have a playlist of all the other YouTube channels that are like my favorite. And I put that video on there. So go to the playlist called Other Channels I Love and you'll be able to see that as well as a bunch of other great gardening resources on YouTube. And inside, I've um, insulated the floor a little bit with straw. This is just animal bedding. Um, it's lawn underneath, but it's mostly mud right now from all of it being trampled on during construction. And our clay soil just stays really, really cold all day. So once I insulated it, it actually helps a ton. It feels really nice in here, especially when the sun is out. It's a little bit cloudy right now, but we should get some sun this afternoon. So this is our little anchoring system that I'm gonna go over a little bit more in a moment. And then up here you can see where he installed a vent for me. He kind of just like custom made me a little vent out of wood because we looked online for different vents and they were very expensive. <laughs> and we had already spent a lot on this project. So I was like, let's just make a vent. Like it doesn't matter. So we just need to be able to get air to come in and out. So this is the vent. Oh, that's cold. Okay, it's a lot warmer in here than it is outside and I do not want to open that right now. <laughs> so that is our little vent. And then our slat shelves here. I think Zach did a few things differently than what were in the original video tutorial that we found. We changed some of the dimensions and then I think he also changed how he did the shelves. But to save money, we just bought like a bunch of two by six and then kind of sliced them down to this big of pieces, however big that is, and made slats out of it. I don't know, I'm not a builder. <laughs> I don't know things, but I'm doing my best to help you guys. If you're handy, you should be able to figure these things out. And if you wanna know the exact size of these, I'm sure I can figure that out for you. So you can see that we anchored it with four T-posts. Basically, before you drive T-posts in, you need to make sure that you know for sure what's underneath of the ground, but um, my husband just used a grinder and took off the back of the T-post so that he could put the bolts straight into the studs. So that's how we did that. So the T-posts, I think they are like four foot or five foot T-posts, and then he just drove them into the ground basically as deep as he could until the T-post driver, you know, is about that long. So I think that's maybe about 18 inches or 24 inches sticking out. So this is our first year with a greenhouse and we weren't 100% sure how to anchor it. We looked up a lot of different methods and things that we thought could work for this greenhouse, but we really wanted to use that modern builds design because we love the look of it. So I can't say for sure how well this anchoring system is gonna work, but it does look promising. We don't get tornadoes or anything here, but we do sometimes in the spring and fall, we get these like big heavy wind storms that'll blow through. I'm thinking it'll be fine because we're gonna have most of the cracks and stuff sealed up. And I don't think any air is really gonna be able to get inside of the greenhouse through those wind gusts. So I think it should be fine, but this is the method that we are using for now. And this will be our first year and we'll be testing it out and just see how it goes. So I'll keep you posted on that. If our greenhouse blows away, I'm sure you'll know about it. <laughs> but hopefully, hopefully it works. So this is kind of a workspace. This is where I'm gonna be putting my, you know, filling my seed trays. Um, I've got a little bucket of soil down here, kind of where I'm working. 
and I have one tray of seeds in the house right now that are germinating and then I have I'm going to be filling up this tray as well so this isn't a winterized greenhouse Something for you to keep in mind if you're thinking about building a greenhouse and you live in a colder zone. If you get below freezing temperatures in early spring or you're planning to use your greenhouse for tender plants through the winter, then you will need a winterized greenhouse, which means it'll need to be all sealed up, airtight, um, maybe some sort of insulation element and some sort of heating element because a greenhouse doesn't just hold its heat. It needs the sun to warm up and once the sun goes down the heat escapes really really fast so I'm able to use this greenhouse for a lot of my colder crops so my baby pak choy my lettuces spinach things like that and then my tender annuals will come out but they go back inside at nighttime for right now so eventually we will probably add some sort of insulation and heating element for using this through winter maybe next year, but this was a really big project for us this year, so I'm just kind of taking it easy and starting slow and seeing what we need. So for now, I'm able to keep all of my summer veggies out here uh, during the day when the sun is out, and it is toasty in here. It gets up to like 70, 75, even when it's only 30 or 40 degrees outside. Let's check the temperature. It's currently 39 degrees outside. reading just over 70 so these this is my only tray that I have in here right now but they look happy and one of my absolute favorite details about the entire thing is that my husband put in a Dutch door for me so in the summer when it's hot I will be able to open the vent and open just the top half but keep the bottom half closed which will keep our dog and children and chickens if we get chickens out of the greenhouse. So I'm pretty excited about that. It's really cute. All right, well that pretty much does it for this video. That was just a little intro to our greenhouse. I can't wait to get it filled up with seedlings and show you what we've got growing and what we're doing in here. So stay tuned and I will do a full greenhouse tour a little bit later on in the season when there's a little bit more to show. I hope you guys all have a great time planning and prepping your gardens. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below, and I will talk to you soon.